I cannot believe it. After all the writing, drafting, filming, editing, producing, here we are shooting the last scene. The martini shot. We didn't need a big crew today. So it's just Roger, Orville, Stu, and Mac, of course, our Dan Garcia. Oh yeah, and this generator or electrical box is fucking annoying. Can't do anything about it. It's gonna be in every shot. I mean, it's super fucking loud. Damn. Not the best place to film it. Can you hear that, Orville? Whatever. I'll find a way to hide it in post-production or something. Excellent work, guys. We're kicking some major ass on this. Okay. For this last shot, Mac, I'm gonna need you to look right into the camera. I'm gonna need you to say, well, Mr. Jones, Dennis would say the same thing if he was still alive. I don't regret my actions. I just regret the amount of time I spent thinking you were my friend. And then you walk off. Okay, I can do a story. Sound good, Matt? Yeah, really pity Mr. Jones. Make him regret it. Okay, we'll do. Dude, Mac, you own this. Don't even trip. Give us a jiggle jaggle, Mr. Attitude. All right, cool. All right, quiet on the set. You ready, Mac? Yes, sir. All right. And action. Blood is thicker than water, Mr. Jones. Dennis would have said that he was still alive. I don't regret my actions. I just regret the amount of time I wasted thinking you were my friend. Thank you, Mr. Jones. All right. Cut. Perfect. That's a wrap. Yeah. That was awesome, man. Dope. This is truly remarkable. After everything we've been through these last few months, this is so rewarding. I remember creating the character of Dan Garcia last year, and here I am directing an actor playing him. <laughs> Stu has been instrumental in getting this put together as well. Hey, Sharon. Stuart got some exciting info that literally just came in. You got pen and paper for details, and oh yeah, you free this afternoon? Um, yeah. Why? Well, you cannot repeat this, but a very plugged in and wealthy producer is visiting town. I would like to meet you. She asked who's my best clientele were and specifically mentioned your name, and she asked if you'd be around. Really? She wants to meet this afternoon? Yes. They requested stopping by your house to discuss it. Uh, sure. That, that shouldn't be a problem. Great. Thank you, Stuart. This makes both of us look good, and it should be a great meeting for you. Okay, cool. I'll see you, Sharon. wonder what that was all about. Who's calling me? <laughs> Paul. What's up, Paul? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I had the day off. I'm bored. That's great, man. Yeah, no, we're just, uh, we're finishing up the last shot. We'll be home soon. Okay. Cool. I'll see you soon. Right on. Okay. Cool. Man, it's quite in here without those guys. Huh. Wonder what's on TV. Are you gonna fucking say it? I need the words to come out of your filthy little mouth, you little shit. Oh, come on, girls. Okay. Been spending too much time trying to make this happen. What have we here? Seventy-six twenty-five Bosnian Street. This is it. Found it. Now it's time to pay, you sons of bitches. Hey! Huh. Who are you? What are you doing here? I don't think I'm the one who really needs to be asking who you are and what you're doing here. I'm. My name is Steve, and I'm looking for a Paul Dontario and a Matthew Hopkins. Matt Hopkins? Yeah, I think I know those guys. Uh, what's your business with them? They... They cost me my relationship and my girl. They need to be taught a lesson. Lesson? I agree with you on that one. I think we have some things to discuss. Why don't you step into my office?
That was amazing, guys. I had so much fun playing this character. Thank you for choosing me to play Dan Garcia. It was a pleasure, Mac. I mean, you were so easy to work with. Yeah, man, totally professional. I would cast you again in a heartbeat. Dude, <laughs> all you guys rocked. Thanks, dude. God, dude, this whole experience has been such an amazing lesson for me. You know, it really teaches you, you know, what you can do with just, you know, just a little bit of teamwork. You know, I, I mean, hands down, you guys are the best clients I've ever had. Thanks, Roger. I mean, your business savvy was the driving force to like straighten everything out. I mean, you're the man. Dude, Todd was right about hooking me up with you guys. What the fuck happened to Todd anyways? I don't know, man. No clue. Whatever. Hey, Orville. Oh, oh shit. Uh, yes, Stuart. Ready to go? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, do you need help with anything? No, we're going. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I love the shots we got today. This was the last of the puzzle pieces that is Blood and Sacrifice. Mac is great as our lead. Everyone else did a good job as well. Except the ones that bailed on me last minute. Dicks. Anyway, now it's off to edit. So how's about we go in there and crack some skulls, then gut them like fish? Steve, hold your horses, man. We need some information, I appreciate the creativity, but let me do the thinking on this one. What information? I need Paul to tell someone on camera what he pays to live with Mr. Hopkins. You understand that? Well, let me go ask. You don't do so good with these sorts of things, do you? Look, there, look, there they are. Those punks. Who's that one? I'm not sure. But I got an idea. Hey, Glyphbird. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I miss you. I'm still not... Entirely sure where I am, but I'm definitely somewhere. I would have to be. I will be back, however, and that is a possibility. Um, somebody's coming. Hold on. Bye. Hey, buddy. What? Uh, what are you doing here? I was just talking to my friend. Have I seen you here before? Uh, no. But are you a stranger with danger? No. I. I just, man. I just want. Steve, what the hell, man? You want to get to the point already? Let's get him in the car. Where'd Orville go? <laughs> Probably got lost. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Man, the editing is going smooth. At least half of the film is edited. I've had to tweak it every day. I wish I was farther in the edit, but man, this shit is tedious. It's been a learning experience. I mean, there's, there's so much footage. So how long have you known Shelly was moving? Oh, not long, man. Sharon told me at your Eliso Cherry event. Uh, who's Sharon? My agent. How does she know? She's Shelly's agent as well. What? Yeah, man, you didn't know that? What's it to you? What? Gosh, you're so temperamental. Oh, snap. Paul is pissed at Stu. Where am I? It doesn't matter where you are. What's important right now is that you have a particular question to ask a particular person. What question? I need you to go inside that house and ask Paul what he pays in rent to those jackasses. I need this on film. Yeah, or else we're gonna gut you like a fish. What? Why? Don't worry about it, just go ask him. 
I need you to go inside that house right there. You see this? That's where you need to be sitting. And I need you to ask him how much he pays in rent to live with those assholes. I need this on audio and video. You understand me? Hey, that's my friend's house. You gonna ask him or not? Please don't hurt me. I'll ask him. Whoa, come on, guys. I get called in here for breaking and entering, and you guys are pulling this shit? This one scene is badass. It's one we did a couple weeks back. It's where Rich busts in on Dan and his brother Dennis. I still gotta fix it up. Yeah, it was a setup. Nikolai called in and supplied the drugs. How Meredith and Nikolai know each other? Yeah, he has for a long time. Did you know this, Dan? I just found out. I've been doing my research. It's a little rough. Maybe if I... Who? What? Always when I'm in the middle of something. Hey, Matt. Can I talk to Paul? Paul? Yeah. Hey, Paul. What's up, bro, Phil? Hey, buddy. Can you sit down? I'd love to talk. Okay. Look at that. See? I told you this would work, Steve. We got him. You alright? Okay. What's Orville up to? He seems off. Well, more than usual. Who's this? Okay, who's this? Hello, is Stuart Rosewood here? Uh... Yes! Hello! Come on in. You must be the producer Sharon told me about. Yes, my name is Monique Shelton. I just got into LA and I'm reaching out for our company. Awesome. Well, let's take this meeting to the backyard. Uh, these guys are having a little meeting here. Don't want to disturb them. Thanks, Stu. Got it. This way to the backyard, uh... Oh, excuse me. I have to use your powder room. It's a long drive. I will meet you outside. I'm sorry. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll be out there. Backyard. Thank you. She looks like a nice person. So, Paul, tell me. Are you paying rent here? Yeah, I am. You know, I'm getting a good deal thanks to these guys. Come on, man. Just say the words. How much are you paying rent? Seven fifty a month. Awesome. Got you. Yes. Now they're mine. Steve. So, is that all you want to talk about? Yeah, buddy. What the fuck, Orville? You're a weird man. Alright you guys, hands up! Nobody move or you're gonna get it! I thought you were in the army. Well, you thought wrong, Paul. I got out. And I lost Shelly because of you. And now, I'm gonna pump you full of lead! Okay, Steve has a gun in his hand. And he's about to kill my friends. How could this get any- Oh, fuck! Mr. Hopkins. Greg? Paul, how you doing? As you can see, my good friend Steve here seems to mean- a lot more business than you might think. And just so you know, I finally have the proof that I spent a year trying to get, which is you admitting that you've been paying these guys $7.50 a month and you haven't been giving me my cut. So here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna pay up or Steve here is gonna have a little fun. Oh my goodness, what have I done? <laughs> what the fuck, Greg? <laughs> hey, you don't listen to him. You listen to me. Now get up, get up against the wall, so I can take you out one by one. Holy shit, this is fucked. What are we gonna do? Steve is a loose cannon, and Greg? What the fuck, Greg? How can this get any worse? What the? Are you kidding? What are the cops doing here? Who called the cops? Matt, get out there. Go talk to them, and I warn you, no funny business, or these guys get it. Whatever you do, don't tell them I'm here. Uh, fuck me. Okay. Okay. 
And remember, no funny business. Okay, Matt. There's probably a reason these cops are here. You've got a crazy asshole with a gun inside holding your friends hostage. Just casually tell them that. Hello, sir. We're looking for a uh, Stuart Rosewood. Does he live here? Stu? Yeah. Why? We believe he has information regarding this woman. Monique Sheltan? You've got to be kidding me. Is Mr. Rosewood home? Uh... Uh... I forgot Stu's in the backyard. What is he doing? Steve, what is this really about? I mean, what is any of this going to solve? You cost me Shelly. I spent years finding the perfect girl, and you took her away from me! I didn't do anything. She's the one that got crazy on me. And besides, dude, she's moving to New York. Shelly's leaving? Steve, put the gun down. She's leaving? Steve, put the gun down. Hey, yeah, yeah, go! I didn't see that one coming. Holy shit, Orville! You're dead! Oh shit! Come back here! Help officers! Whoa! Whirl! Whirl! Come back here! Steve! Oh. Oh. Okay, now what the hell is going on? Officer, this guy tried to kill us! I wouldn't have gotten away with it if it weren't for you, jackasses! Yeah, I keep the gun out of his hands. A firearm? Yes, sir! Where? It's inside. God damn it, Steve. Ugh, you little... Ugh. Ugh. Can this get any more wilder? Ah, uh, shit. Forget I asked. Shelly, you've come back? Shelly, does this mean you still love me? Oh, baby, I know we could work it out. Is the cursor bond so strong? Holy shit. What the fuck, Paul? I don't love you anymore. There's no special bond. You see, Paul? She's here for me, her true lover! Oh, shut up, Steve! No, Steve. You can go to hell, too. You're a psycho. I just came here to say goodbye, which now I'm feeling like it was a bad idea. Shelly! All right, that's it. No dice, fellas. Let the lady leave. Yeah, you two assholes don't deserve her. Thank you. You know what? You guys have fun in LA. I'm headed to New York with my first big gig on Broadway, and I'm gonna be far away from you idiots. Shelly, yeah, I need you, baby. You and I were made for each other. I love you. Oh, let's go. Steve, Bubba. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I guess justice was served. What the hell just happened? Stu missed the craziest shit ever. Too bad we weren't filming. Man, what the fuck? Where is she? Man, what the hell is she doing in here? God, what are these guys doing out here? Uh, get in the car! Ah. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck happened here? Who's this? Stuart Rosewood. Stuart Rosewood? Stuart Rosewood? Do you know anything about the disappearance of this woman? What the? Help! Help! He tried to kidnap me and hold me hostage in the bathroom! What the fuck? Yeah, Calm okay. down, son. It's for your own good. He tried to rape me and sell me for my money. I did not! I just met you like 30 minutes ago! She's just a movie producer that came down here. There was a meeting set up by Sharon Burkett! Alright, now everybody just calm down. What the hell is going on? Alright, we were called, we were given a woman's description, and her name, and a picture, and we were told that she was at this address. We were given your address, Mr. Rosewood. Can you explain that? Who called it in? It would be an Art McFiddlepick. Art McFiddlepick? Rebecca McFiddlepick? <laughs> this is getting good. Hello, Stu. Rebecca? You called the cops? And you called in a missing person? Yes, Stuart. 
Working in casting, you meet a lot of talented people. Isn't that right, Dolores? That's right, Rebecca. What the fuck? Wait a minute, so you weren't kidnapped? She set all this up? Yep. It was me. Why would you do such a thing? Because Stuart Rosewood, as we all know, is an asshole. Get this. So in third grade, we were in Miss Kennedy's science class. I had to do an electronics project. I made this beautiful PowerPoint. This little shit decides to put all these pictures of crap and butts and, you know, gross things that third graders don't want to see in class. Adds all these sound effects of farts. And then I do the presentation, everybody laughs at me, and I get an F. F you, Stuart! But then, he decides that he's going to tell everybody, oh, did you realize McFiddlepick sounds kind of like shit? Everybody in class starts chanting, McFiddlepick sounds like shit, McFiddlepick sounds like shit. That's what people called me till I fucking graduated. I swore I would get my revenge. I needed to make you suffer that same embarrassment and humiliation that I felt. How does it feel to ruin a little girl's life, Stuart? Wow, that's messed up, man. Man, oh man. <laughs> Stu is an asshole. Oh my god, Rebecca, really? Yep, that's right, Stuart. I just love seeing you in handcuffs in a non-kinky way. But my fun is over. Officers, go ahead and release him. He's learned enough. Stuart, you'll never work again in this town. With me on the casting boards, and you know, I'm popular now, you'll never know where you'll see me next. Bye, Dolores. If I were you, Stuart, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. You're dead, you guys! I'm gonna get you one of these days! All right, let's go. Come on, Whirl. I've got enough of this madhouse. Good day, ma'am. Thanks, officer. I'm really sorry about that. It's okay, sir. You know, if you're in Hollywood and you're not a transplant trying to make it into business, you're probably just a freak on the street. Jeez, you guys. Stay out of trouble. God help your souls. Wake up. Words cannot describe how insane this all is. I mean... You know, I know some crazy stuff goes on around here. But, real talk, you guys. This takes the cake, and I finally got you. I've got the proof. Oh, look. Greg. The fun's not over yet. You assholes have been ducking me for a year. And I finally got you on tape with Paul admitting that he's been paying you $750 a month for a freaking house that you've only been paying $1,000 a month for for the last two years. So what, Greg? What does it matter? God, what's your problem, man? You know, you remember two years ago when I rented this house out to you for $1,000 a month? Do you know how sweet that deal was? Yeah, that was two years ago. Yeah, and you raised the price like 500 bucks since. Yeah, and you think that's overdoing it. Because what? You would have paid 1400 for those crappy apartments? Yeah, why? As if that isn't where I should have started. Because why? Because I did you a favor? Because I felt sorry for you? You know where I used to live? In this house, which I own. The only place I've lived in the last 10 years. You guys had this struggle going on, and I was, uh, ooh, I feel surface is good. How about I go take this shitty $1,400 apartment that they've applied for? Yeah, that was real nice of me, wasn't it? I didn't tell you about that. But even in spite of that, you went behind my back and you did this. So, here's the scenario. You guys owe me a lot of money because you've been holding out. And I'm thinking to the tune of about 3200 a month. Um... You know what? Fuck you, Greg. You fucking piece of shit. Are you mentally insane? We're, we're moving out of here immediately. Seriously, Greg, you've spied on us for fuck's sake. I've had enough of your skeevy little sneaking around watching us. Oh, so, so, so me doing surveillance on you because 
you were just giving money under my nose. That makes me the, the fucking bad guy. Greg, just leave, all right? We're peacing out, okay? I'm leaving with Matt, and I'm pretty sure Paul doesn't want to deal with your shit either. You think you could just leave whenever you want? Yeah, I do, Greg. We're going to be out Wednesday. We're done. All right, li listen. Okay, let's renegotiate. I realize that for you guys, 3200 might be a little extreme. Let's go 2500 we're, we're out, bro. All right, so 3200 is too much. 2500 Look, 2350 man. That's, a, that's as low as I'm going. Final deal. Greg, get the fuck out of here. I can't stand you. You are such a fucking loser. We're all moving out. What the f Calm the fuck down. Like, all right. But we'll talk about this later, man. Asshole. Damn, Paul, that was- Dude, shut your mouth, you piece of shit. I fucking hate you and that bitch, Sharon. You literally ruined my chances of ever getting back with Shelly. From now on, stay out of my business, you fucking prick. Damn. Holy shit, Paul. Shit just got real. Oh my goodness. Hey, Stu, you wanna go grab a slice of pizza and a soda pop? No, that, that does sound good, Orville. Let's go. Never ceases to amaze me. Paul is so emotional and Stu is such an asshole. <laughs> Yep. It's amazing to see the human spirit in action. I remember when Blood and Sacrifice was originally conceived about a year ago. Had no idea I'd end up making it myself. With the help of my awesome crew of people. Hey Matt, what you doing? Just doing some thinking, man. <laughs> Wow, you do that a lot. Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> Alright, see you later. I guess I do. <laughs> Orville really is a great guy. Well, I'm almost done with the edit. Cannot wait to finish the film. Of course, now I have to move. Greg is a crazy son of a bitch. Guess this will be the last time on this porch. Man, time flies. It was just yesterday I moved here from Seattle to pursue life as a writer. Guess that officer was right. I'm such a transplant.